This week on Majid's Kitchen. Spicy, sweet and tangy, evil chicken. A Sri Lankan favorite. A dish similar to chicken Manchurian. Let's begin with the vegetables required for this recipe. So don't skip the recipe because you're short of perhaps one, two, or three ingredients. You can use bell peppers, onions, and tomatoes and still come up with a beautiful, tasty dish. Here we have the red onions, the carrots, bell peppers, red and green, you can use either color, chopped tomatoes, that was half, and our banana peppers, that was about three quarters. Part two, we prepare the sauce and the chicken. For this recipe, you will need Four to 500 grams of boneless chicken. I'm using chicken breast. And let's speak a little bit about the other ingredients. Two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of white vinegar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, a teaspoon of tamarind paste. I have a video on how to extract paste from a block of tamarind. Homemade chili sauce. You can use store-bought. Three quarters of a cup ketchup. One teaspoon of cornstarch. Black pepper. Salt to taste roasted cumin powder, let's cut some nice chunky bite-sized pieces of this chicken breast. Thank <laughs> you. 
add the paprika I'm using half of the salt which is about three quarters of a teaspoon and half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper and the soy sauce. We'll give this a mix. Add in the cornstarch. You could also use potato starch. And let's get ready to fry this chicken. Our oil is ready, let's fry the chicken. Don't overcrowd the pan. Chicken breast cooks quite fast, so remove them and in this case I will be doing a second batch. So we can check for doneness as you can see, it's all nice and juicy. Check the seasoning, delicious. Right, with the oil in the pan. Let's get started. The cumin. Chili powder. I'm using medium to high heat. You'll be making this on a regular stove. Okay, at this stage, I'm going to add in the peppers. Give it a very light saute with the onions. Beautiful aroma there. Our carrots. Now, carrots are optional. You can definitely use what you have on hand. Don't miss out on this lovely recipe just because you don't have one ingredient the uh, capsicum peppers right in there. This particularly works well when making this deviled chicken. Now I'm going to add in the tamarind paste. And some of the vinegar so I'm just going to add in about a teaspoon of vinegar.
adding your tomatoes the chili paste bring it off And our ketchup, I'm just going to add in about half. I'll let that cook a little. Let's go in with the rest of the sauce. And at this point, we can add in the chicken. Got a mix. Finish it with a little bit of green onion. We'll be right back and plate this dish and show you just how our chicken turned out. And the dish is complete. Here we have our tasty deviled chicken. Why is it called deviled? Well, it's supposed to be fiery, spicy, with a little bit of sweetness coming through. But it's all about those fiery hot chicken bites that you get in every mouthful. Let's take a closer look. The dish has numerous similarities to Chicken Manchurian, a very popular Indo-Chinese dish. I love being inspired and to inspire others. Like, share and subscribe.